Hey guys, it's me, Arby Studios, and I am back again with another LEGO Star Wars video for you guys. And today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 LEGO Star Wars set images. Guys, it's here. We're taking a look at them. I'm super excited for this. Um, more excited than I thought I'd be. These are new sets. They're really official images. Let's jump right on into it. So the first one is the Han Solo's Millennium Falcon Micro Fighter. Another Millennium Fighter Micro Fighter. Definitely don't need it. Might buy it. Good way to get the new Han Solo figure. You got the mini Millennium Falcon, which is something that they make quite frequently, as it seems. And you've got uh, this really nice box art. Love the box art on these new sets. I mean, I was going to love it either way, but love the box art on this new sets. And they're also carrying out the Darth Vader thing. But yeah, this is just a good little Millennium Falcon microfighter for those people who want to get Han Solo cheap. Oh yeah, and this one's going to be retailing for $9.99 USD and $11.99 Canadian. Okay guys, so now moving on to the Mandalorian set of the Wave, the Trouble on Tatooine. This one's going to include 276 pieces. Uh, well, I mean, I've already gone over this in my last video, but it's going to retail for $29.99 USD and $39.99 Canadian. Pretty awesome set. Uh, another set from the Mandalorian. There you can see everything. You can see that like bow and arrow thing. You get the speeder, the hut, which I actually think looks better in HD. And I think it's gonna go great on my Tatooine setup, which I think I'm actually growing now in my Tatooine collection. Also minifigures in this set is where it's at. That Mandalorian with the arm printing looks so much better than I thought in my original video. Um, I kind of wrote this off, but I really love it now that we got HD pictures and getting the Baby Yoda cheap is amazing. Moving on, next up, we got the Imperial TIE Fitter, and the box art on the set is to die for. The Death Star in the background looks amazing. The three figures on the bottom and the explosions, it just looks so insane. This one's going to retail for $39.99 USD and $49.99 Canadian. 50 bucks Canadian for this TIE Fighter. The big red bill. Um, that's insane. This looks amazing for 50 bucks, I gotta say. It's really scaled down, but it just looks awesome. And you're getting that like protocol droid that we haven't seen in a while. You get the spring loaded shooters there, awesome looking TIE Fighter and TIE Pilot, and a brand new Stormtrooper, which looks awesome. And yeah, just overall awesome set. And moving on to the next one, we got 75301. This is the X-Wing Starfighter. This one's going to be retailing for $59.99 and $69.99 Canadian. 60 bucks for an X-Wing. Oh my god, that looks amazing. You got four minifigures, R2-D2, uh, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and then you've got this like guy. I can't remember his name, but he's exclusive. Totally want that figure. Um, he's from uh, Yavin 4. And then you got the X-Wing, which I gotta say looks pretty good. It looks like a dulled down version of the 2018 one, but that's to be expected. And with the new minifigures, I actually think it is a really lovely set and looks amazing. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Um, just to recap, the TIE Fighter is going to be uh, $39.99, I think. The um, uh, X-Wing is going to be uh, $59.99. You got the... Um, these are all US. And you got the uh, TIE... Or the um, Millennium Falcon coming in at $9.99. And then the uh, other set, the uh, Mandalorian set, coming in at $39.99. But anyways, guys, that is it. I love these sets. I'm super excited now, and I kind of want to get them all. I know. Uh, I mean, the Millennium Falcon, I really just, I don't need it. Like, But the box art, oh my goodness. Um, that's something they really nail with like the colors and stuff. They keep going for this like all black aesthetic, and I hate it. I love when they do that like art design. It just looks amazing. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could leave a like and sub to the channel. Uh, it would greatly help me and turn on notifications if you're a baller. But anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.